I don't know if you guys can hear me or not. I'm sure all you can hear is wind. And I don't have a good GoPro, like a Hero 4. Something with external mic capability. But, if I shout, I think you'll be able to hear me a little bit. So up till this point, all of my vlogs have been silent or, you know, a little bit of me yelling in the rain. Holy crap. That's a problem. But, uh, I have my camera in its normal position. But I don't know that you're going to be able to hear anything other than wind. I could always move it up and be shouting directly into the back. My visor are somewhat closed. But I don't know how well that's going to work either. But I can give it a shot. Today we're going to get some gas and some KFC. It is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to uh, my stepdad Mike and uh, my grandfather. I don't think anyone else that can be considered a quote unquote father figure to me is actually worthy of the title, so screw you. But happy Father's Day, Mike. And my granddad. Anyway, we're going to get some KFC and we're going to go get some gas for the Metropolitan with the bent ass front wheel. So I suppose I should tell the story of the bent front wheel. Why it's bent, why I haven't really replaced it, and why I put up with the shaking, although it's not bad today for some reason. <coughs> Why I keep coughing, get to that eventually. But so basically, I bought this bike. And yes, I'm gonna refer to scooters as bikes. But anyone who thinks differently can screw off. It has two wheels and a motor. Uh, wind whipping's really bad. Oh, someone's having an event. Or they just won the lottery and they're like me. Or six million piece of junk cars. I totally just caught a bug to the eye. Anyway. So I bought this bike. Got it home, took it on a couple shoot, few short rides up and down uh, the street a little. Didn't actually take it on any main roads. So then, it's not even in my name yet. I haven't even transferred the title yet. But it's still registered and I have insurance on it, so I'm like, alright. Still registered the other guy's name, still played it. So it's, it's technically legal. It's not in my name, but it's legal. The insurance is, but everything else is. So no big deal. I convinced my cousin, I was like, hey, I'm gonna take the Sim, you take the Metro, and let's go scooter squat on this shit and go get some food. And he's like, that sounds like an amazing idea. And I'm like, yes, it is an amazing idea. Why, thank you. I am genius, because you are also a handsome individual. May a horde of vaginas come your way. And I was like, yes, absolutely. You as well, my friend. We didn't actually say that. But that's what we meant. So we're going around this turn. And he's a new rider. I mean, I am absolutely a new rider. I've rode dirt bikes and that kind of stuff for years. Wow, wind much? Out of 
this wind. I'm going 40, the speed limit's 25, and this guy is not letting off my ass. Oh, he's turning, thank God. So anyway, we're taking this turn, he's a new rider, and I'm a new rider as well. You know, I'm going to throw that out there. I technically don't even have my M class. Well, not technically, I just don't have it. But that's why I ride all 50cc junk. I'm working on it, hopefully dealing with that this summer. I'm looking at getting the uh, Piaggio BV250, something I can take on the highway, but isn't going to be a big old like Bergman or Touring Speed. You know, something I could bop around with, but it also wouldn't be too big of a deal to take it on the highway and go somewhere. But anyway, new rider, and I know this turn has a lot of gravel on the edge, and it's just the, barely the start of riding season. Actually, most people haven't even dusted off their cruisers yet because, you know, uh, it's colder than 80 degrees. I can't ride. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I knew this turn had gravel. So I went wide and kind of motioned him, come on through. Like, come to the inside of me. And somehow he misinterpreted this hand signal, which is all good, because we didn't discuss hand signals before we went off. We were just kind of like, two scooters, we're bored, we're hungry, let's do this. So he comes in, ends up going wide instead of inside. Somehow he thought I meant go around me, which is understandable. So he goes wide hits the gravel, slides this thing sideways, and stuffs the front wheel into like an embankment like this one. Something like that. Actually, it's like more like that. It's a little sharper, and it was, wasn't was really super soft. A little less deep than that. Wow, nice turn signal, asshole. Anyway. It's kind of a sketchy road to be on with a scooter. But anyway, he the front wheel in, somehow manages to vent the front wheel. Now, Honda Metropolitan front wheels. This is a bitch of mine. They are the thinnest fucking stamp steel I've ever seen. Mind you, they're not intended for big guys like me, but that's not the point. The point is, it should at least take being stuffed, because he wasn't on it whenever the front wheel hit the bank. kind of slick. Which means that even a 90 pound rider would have had the same thing happen. So this wheel's bent. It's so bent that he can't even move it forward. So alright, I bend it a little bit. Nothing happens. Can't go past the forks. It's rubbing on the brakes. It's a mess. So I'm like, alright, well that ain't gonna work. So I get on my sim, which is a two stroke by the way, and loud as hell. And has a higher top speed, but no torque. And I take off as fast as I can. Because he's a new rider, I don't want him to be shied away by the fact that he wrecked. He's worried because he wrecked my bike, which I don't even have my name in yet. But it's whatever. So that's how the wheel got bent. But you may be thinking, why didn't you order a replacement wheel? Well, I actually did. So I go on eBay and there's a couple of places I've ordered wheels and that kind of stuff from before. And I've had pretty good luck with them and they got a great rating. So I'm like, alright, fuck it. This guy's got one for 65 bucks, wheel and tire. Tire's still in good shape. The bike it came off of has less miles than mine, which at the time was like 1200 But anyway, so I figured it'll all be good. 
order it, the wheel's just as bent as this one. So I spent a whole bunch of hours basically banging on the front wheel straightening it. Until it's rideable. And it's rideable now, but it's not the greatest. That's what right there. That's why it's shaky and it hops around turns. But it's rideable. I can manage it. It's not a big deal. I'm used to riding hoopty ass crap. Why am I riding the sim? One, it's loud as hell. Two, it's in the shop. So I couldn't even if I wanted to.
comes the hill of death there's nobody behind us today so it shouldn't be bad I should be able to swing right in there if I can catch the groove I won't be going too slow Nope, not quite. Close though. Ow, my ear. <coughs> that hurt. Yellow. Off we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, now we're moving. Yeah, it's definitely gonna rain. <laughs> 